My name is Jeannie and this is my husband Vin. So we recently purchased our first Palomino truck camper and are taking it on its first long road trip from Colorado to Arizona. In our last episode, you saw us spend a morning in Sedona, Arizona, visiting the Montezuma Castle and making our way to Apache Junction where we camped at our first state park. We quickly realized that campgrounds may not be our favorite camping option. It's just something we definitely don't prefer. This was the most non-relaxing morning we've had yet. We then did a quick hike in the Superstition Mountains and started a long afternoon drive to Canyon de Chelly National Monument. I'm also sharing our complete daily expenses of how much it costs us to live and travel out of our truck camper. So we ended up waking up to the campground all to ourselves this morning. Nobody else rolled in here at the Canyon de Chelly. I think it's called Cottonwood Campground. Um, no one rolled in last night at all. It was so quiet, except for the wind. It was so windy. <laughs> As I mentioned, it was windy yesterday, but last night it was super windy and all these trees, it was like crazy winds going on. Super peaceful campground. Really nice for 20 bucks. Hey. This was, this was worth it. <laughs> so Canyon Day Chalet doesn't open till 8.30 today. So we're gonna head there here in a little bit. We're gonna see if they have a dump here um, just to do like a last dump since now we're gonna be heading into cooler weather. We'll see if they have one, but I don't know if they do because I know they don't have any other hookups. They do have a dump station, we just found it. So that's great, we can empty all our tanks. All right, so we just went to the welcoming center quick because we thought like that's where the park started. Well, it doesn't. <laughs> It's just a parking lot with the Welcome Center. Um, so I went and grabbed a map and there's a rim drive here. So we're doing the south rim drive right now, which is this, and then there's just a bunch of stops here. That is where we camped, Cottonwood Campground. And one thing about this National Monument is they don't charge anything for it, so it's free to visit. We're basically just stopping at all the viewpoints along the drive and checking it out. This is tunnel, canyon right here. All right, so this is the Tasegi Overlook. This is so cool. I know there's cliff dwellings here too, but they do a lot of guided tours here. So I don't know if we're gonna see cliff dwellings or not. And just like the campground, there's not a soul here. It's the day after Thanksgiving, which I don't think would matter, but there's nobody here. We have this whole national monument to ourselves, I feel like. <laughs> Spider Rock. Beautiful. Well, this was beautiful. Um, we did the whole drive in maybe like an hour, maybe a little over an hour, did all the stops. The only stop that we couldn't go to was the White House because it's closed because of law enforcement concerns. So I don't know what that was about, but we saw everything else. Spider Rock all the stops. Beautiful. Really glad we checked this out. So last night we made the executive decision that we're going to make the drive home today um, because basically today we were supposed to make that long drive that we ended up doing yesterday simply because of the weather. We weren't camping. We weren't going to go hiking or do anything more in that type of weather. So that's why we decided to do such a big drive yesterday. And we have about nine and a half hours till home and this was like our last stop on this whole trip um, so we're like well we're gonna burn the hours and just drive home tonight because from here to home we're gonna be in the Rocky Mountains and the temps are gonna be much colder and we just don't want to have to worry about you know camping in that type of weather again <laughs> so we have a nice nine and a half hour drive 
home right now. So we ended up cutting the trip short one day, which we are sad about because we are not ready to be done with this camp truck camping trip. But we can't control the weather. Um, and yeah, so we're on our way home now. Um, we have to get gas. Um, we're gonna gas up here in Chinle and then make the drive back home to Northern Colorado. We're gassing up in Chinle. We paid $3.69 a gallon and put in $61.82. Oh no, $67.82. So we didn't pay anything over $4 on this whole trip a gallon. So that was pretty good. I don't know, I expected it to be over $4 a gallon in some areas, but everything was under four. We just grabbed these little Danish things and muffins at the gas station. Ready for our long road trip home. They're actually really good. <laughs> eight hours of driving left um, so it says we're gonna be home at about 8 10 tonight whoa bumps <laughs> road work a lot of miles to get to the other side of Colorado <laughs> what our average miles per gallon have been. And the last 400 miles, we have been getting about nine miles, no, 9.3 miles to the gallon. So yeah, it actually didn't get any better or worse than what we normally got. Um, but when we got to Arizona, we realized we were actually climbing a lot of hills. It's, it's hillier in Arizona than we thought. <laughs> we for some reason thought Arizona was flatter and it's really not that flat. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's about the same here in Colorado as it is in Arizona. The sun is starting to set here in Colorado, and we are eating our dinner in the exact same spot where we had our first breakfast and found out our plates were frozen. <laughs> so it's like, this is where we started with meals, and this is where we're ending. This is our last meal in our truck camper, but not for long. <laughs> but we're not excited about it. <laughs> we're excited because we've literally been driving all day and we're exhausted, but we're not excited because we're not ready to be home. We want to keep going, you know what I mean? You know how to explain? Yeah. <laughs> the first thing we said when we walked in was, the house feels so big because we've been living out of the camp for a week, but it's so small. I'm like, oh my God, this house is enormous compared to our camper. <laughs> But that's okay, we shall adjust back for only a few weeks and then we're on the road again in the camper. I can't wait to share our next two week journey. So stay tuned. But first I have to give you a full recap of our full week truck camping around Arizona. All right, you guys, let's get into the goods. Let's get into the deets of how much this entire trip costed us. But first, let me say, we are not happy to be home. You know when you go on a trip and you have such a good time and you just love it so much that you don't wanna be home? Yeah, that was this trip. We loved, loved, loved camping in our truck camper and this whole road trip experience has definitely opened so many more opportunities and doors for our travel adventures. So yeah, we're we're just ready to get back on the road. All right, so let's get into this. 
So I kind of broke this down into sections. So first is gas. So a total for the seven day road trip we did from Northern Colorado down to basically the Northern half of Arizona because we ended up not going to Tucson. So total in gas for the entire week came to $890. Next category is campsites. We spent $132 in campsites. Next is activities slash admission. So we did a tour to the Antelope Canyon. We had some state park passes we had to buy and the national monuments. So in total, those came to $121. And then I have other, which is basically like our Walmart runs. So it kind of consisted of food, like paper towels, like just kind of those amenities. Um, so I just put that under other. So all of that came to $172. So totaling up all four categories, we spent $1,314 in seven days living breathing, enjoying, traveling, eating, all the things out of our truck camper. No hotels, no dining out, just truck camping, which breaks down to $188 a day for seven days. Now, that was very interesting to learn all those numbers since this was the very longest trip we have ever done with our truck and trunk camper. But now, the comparison to if we would have done this trip as we've normally always done, buying hotels, dining out, driving our Jeep, and yeah, that's what we would have normally done. So, because our truck got nine miles to the gallon and we spent 890 with the truck. Well, our Jeep gets about double. <laughs> maybe, maybe even a little bit better. So I basically can cut the gas in half with our Jeep. So gas with our Jeep would have probably costed us around 450. Next is hotels. I would say on average, we would have spent about 150 a night. Sometimes it's probably a little less, sometimes it's a little more for your standard, you know, nice little holiday inn type style hotel accommodations. So for six nights of hotel that would have costed us about $900. Next would be food. Food is expensive. Dining out is one of the biggest expenses I feel. I can easily say 25, 30 bucks a day for breakfast. Might go grab some lunch in there. A good 50, 60 dollars a night on dinner. So I averaged it to $100 a day on food for both of us. So that would have been $700 in food. And then the activities, which is the exact same amount as what we would have spent no matter what. We would have still had park passes. We would have still been, you know, paying for the Slot Canyon tour. So that stays the same at $121. If we added up all four of those categories, we would have been in about $2,171 for seven days, which would equal out to $310 a day. So $188 a day in the truck camper versus $310 by doing the hotels and the dining out and all that stuff. Now, one thing I should note is if you guys are wondering, well, you had to buy all your groceries to make your food, we would have had to buy groceries if we were still at home. So I'm not bundling in our grocery expenses only because we have to eat and we would have made normal meals per usual that week. So it doesn't matter if we were eating normal meals at home or if we were eating normal meals in our truck camper. They were all the same because we pre-made all our food at home. Dining out is definitely more of an entertainment prepping a bunch of food at home is not really entertainment. <laughs> and also I wanna mention, we do not have any truck payment or camper payment. So those are paid in full. So that's not anything we can bundle in. Same with like our Jeep, if we were taking our Jeep, the Jeep is paid in full. So there's no like payments on anything. So that's not other expenses that we could bundle into any of this. So this is seriously cut and dry those four categories for each section, and that's it. Now watching this entire five vlog series, what do you guys think? After seeing all the things we had to deal with, things breaking, pipes freezing, showering at random public showers, etc., or would you rather spend the extra and stay in hotels and go dine out? I feel like there's a time and place for those vacations, absolutely. I'm definitely not one to say I'm never doing that again. However, if we can go take on an epic road trip, get some awesome camping, 
we're kind of all about that. <laughs> we truly have loved this. And we are home now after our trip for two weeks. And then we leave again and we're heading to the California coast with our truck camper for a two week road trip. We are so excited. We've been to California multiple times, but we're gonna be exploring new areas we've never been to, some new national parks, driving the beautiful coast, and we also have some pretty awesome campsites booked that are oceanfront. We're literally counting the days from this trip to leaving in two weeks for California. So stay tuned because I will be vlogging that entire two week trip and we cannot wait to share all the things we have planned, where we stay, and yeah, truck camper life. We love it. We absolutely love it. So thank you guys so much for following along on this series and we'll see you guys in our next California series. Mm -hmm.